Hey guys, Queen Novella here, back again with yet another video. Now, I was long overdue for this video because I'm a massive Buffy fan, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to tell you guys my personal opinion on the idea of a Buffy reboot. Now, before anybody says anything, Yes, I have heard rumors that it isn't going to be a reboot, but a continuation of the show. I'm just going to call it a reboot for now to make things easier. Since that hasn't been proven, it's just a rumor. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a reboot just by, you know remakes being a trend nowadays but anyways i'm here to talk about my personal opinion on a buffy reboot okay first off there are a lot of people who are not happy about buffy being rebooted i mean the original show was really good and i understand that i mean it's taught in colleges i mean that is quite an achievement for a show but Anyways, I know a lot of people are worried that it's going to be bad or it won't live up to the original series, which it probably won't. I don't expect it to. But we gotta understand that reboots are not always bad. Take, for instance, well, this is one of the rare few exceptions where a reboot was actually better than the original, though I don't think the Buffy reboot will be better than the original. Take, for instance, the Battlestar Galactica reboot from the 2000s. The original show only went one season, and it didn't handle a lot of its um, plot line very well. I mean, it had a good concept, but I mean, a lot of things weren't executed very well. But the reboot actually did a better job with that, and it won so many awards. But anyways, I know it's not probably not going to be nearly as good as the original, but honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it not being as good as the original. I'm actually excited for this reboot. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's not going to be nearly as good as the original probably, but it will never replace the original show. The original show's a classic. Okay, there are a lot of people complaining, well... I think these types of people aren't really having genuine complaints. They're all like, well, Sarah Michelle Gellar was the original Buffy. Only she could do it. Actually, that's technically not true. Christy Swanson was the original Buffy in the Buffy movie. But Sarah Michelle Gellar was the better Buffy, I would say. And I don't think Sarah Michelle Gellar wants to be involved in the reboot at all. I don't think she even acts anymore, if I'm not mistaken. And a lot of people are complaining that Buffy in the reboot is going to be African American. Which, personally, I don't see anything wrong with that. A lot of people are really angry about that because they feel like he's quote-unquote trying to be to, uh, like, he's trying to appease to people too much, but honestly, I think a Buffy, an African-American Buffy does make sense for this time. I know you guys are probably wondering what I mean by that, but, um, back in the 90s when Joss Whedon first came up with Buffy, women were very, um, were not represented as much in television, which that has changed now because of, of Buffy and a few other shows, but at least Buffy had the most impact. But now he's trying to represent a more underrepresented, underrepresented group in media, African American women. So maybe an African American Buffy does make sense. Another reason why I'm excited for the Buffy reboot is because, honestly, remakes are kind of inevitable. I mean, just look at all the Disney live-action remakes they're making. I mean, I'm personally not angry or disappointed about it. I knew it would happen eventually. I guess a lot of people think that they're not coming up with their own original content anymore, and that is a fair complaint to have. I mean... 
but a lot of the Disney live action remakes have been pretty good. I'm excited to see the Lion King remake. Okay, I know not all of these people are just complaining about the Buffy reboot just because it's a reboot. Some of them may have genuine complaints, like for instance, in the Lion King remake, there was a rumor going around that Be Prepared was not going to be in the Lion King remake. Which, you know, I agree, that is unacceptable. I mean, that song was an important part of the movie. But since the Buffy reboot, we don't know a lot about it yet. There's really not a lot we can go off of to make a fair criticism about it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and speaking of Disney, since Disney owns the rights to Buffy now, I don't know how they're going to handle a reboot. Like, I heard there's a new streaming service, I think, called Disney Plus coming out. And maybe if Buffy were rebooted, it would be on there. But in my personal opinion, I don't think people would buy... Um, Disney Plus or get access to Disney Plus for a Buffy reboot. Now, a continuation may be, but I don't think people are going to get it solely for the reboot. I mean, I know I would because it's Buffy, but still. I mean, look, guys, I'm not saying all the complaints about the reboot are invalid. I know a lot of people are just scared it'll be butchered. But since Joss Whedon is coming back, I mean, I probably, I'd probably still watch it, but I wouldn't have high hopes for it. If Joss Whedon did not come back to do the reboot, I would probably, you know be saying something different, but since Joss Whedon is coming back, I think it's a good idea that we just, I mean, we can be excited, but we could just wait to see what happens, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, that's all I have for you today, guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment what you think about the Buffy reboot. Do you think it'll be good? Do you think it'll be bad? Do you think it'll be better than the original or worse than the original? Or about the same, who knows? Anyways, guys, with all that being said, I'm Queen Novella, and bye!